They got me feeling like a little dark. Like I can't see. I had an eyebrow right here and an eyebrow right here. I didn't know where to draw. <laughs> Fix it. All right, guys, let's talk about Dossier. They will be sponsoring this video. I am in love with Dossier. You guys know they have everything from perfume. They have diffusers. They have candles. They have travel sets. They have trios you can try out. They are a brand that have some of our favorite inspired by perfume. Top notch, 1.7 fluid ounce magnetic top try before you buy it the aesthetics of the bottle is banging just very simplistic i probably have tried every single scent on their website and absolutely love them so if you love dossier like i do recently they came out with bigger bottles of the best sellers it's double the size this is what it looked like right here i will put it up against a regular size bottle and one of the big bottles was my favorite which is ambery saffron that's not in this drawer i had to go and get i have two of them guys y'all know this is my favorite scent child but i'm gonna turn them around and child just just yeah so get on over to dossier you guys know i love them of course i will leave my discount code in the link below oh hey guys it's your little auntie we're starting a new vlog all right so a lot has changed this vlog we will talk about it when i get back i am literally headed to the eye doctor because yeah i just went who can't see though baby i was trying to put my makeup on on the cruise with those new contacts I was seeing two eyebrows, and I ain't joking. I swear to God, two eyebrows. So, I'm going, and then I'm going to take these back because they're too strong. They're going to check my eyes again. I'm going to go to Marshalls and try to find some more of these um, Laura Mercier Amber Vanille, which I should have went right back and got when I got them because this is beautiful. Oh, smells so freaking good. All right. And then we're going to go try the new Starbucks drink. And when we get home, we're going to have a very quick sit-down chat, life update of how my whole life shifted in literally 24 hours. And then we're going to start to prep because I'm about to go out of town again. Oh, nothing much to really tell you about this story. Here's my spend a night bag and my clothes bags from Mr. Get It Right House. Or Mr. Fumble the Bag again house. Alright, if this stand will cooperate because it's a smaller stand and my camera is kind of heavy so it like pushes it down some. I switched it over for the cruise. Let's just do that for right now. I switched it over to the cruise for the cruise so I didn't have to have that big old stick on the cruise. And I just I forgot to switch it back. So I'm just gonna make this very sh um short. Um, you guys know I was very triggered on the cruise with Suge um, leaving her passport in her bag. And it wasn't the fact that she left it in there because accidents happen. But it's always Suge mannerism and how she uh, she reacts to stuff. I feel like Suge has this like passenger princess like I'm entitled. My mom is going to do it. I don't have to worry attitude. And it's just like when we were on the shuttle. When we were on the shuttle headed to the cruise. She was like, oops. And I'm like, oops, what? She, she was like, I left my passport on the bag. So we all got to the check-in and told the people this. They was like, do you see it anywhere? Can you describe it? And she's just standing there. She always has this look like, she's just standing there and she's like, it's a poem bag. That triggered me because, child, I'm going to eventually just have to stop telling this story because I don't have the right cord and my camera keeps falling. Baby, is it black, green, purple, red? Is it round, long? Is it a roll? Is it a backpack? Like, she just did not care. So, we went through an hour and a half of torture trying to find her passport. And I just feel like she always messing something up because she's so selfish and entitled. Just like the last cruise, you want to do your makeup and let make us late 
or attempt almost made us late for Cozumel. It's just like the world does not revolve around you. And that's kind of like a bad part of spoiling your kids, right? So, okay, let's fast forward. The same thing happened Christmas. I spent over $1,800 for her to come to Cancun for Christmas. And T came home and she just didn't care about what I paid for. And plenty. so it's like a buildup of things. So we're on the boat the last day we're selling at sea. And I'm like, girl, what you got planned Sunday? She was like, Sunday, I'll be in Houston. Sunday is Mother's Day weekend. If you know me, I don't have a mom and I've lost a son. So out of all weekends, would you choose to go to Houston Mother's Day weekend? So she was like, well, I'll be back that morning. I was like, okay, if you're going to be back that morning, what have you planned? Nothing. So she gets on her phone trying to make all these reservations. Reservations. She gets frustrated because she can't. Because Mother's Day is literally a, a week away, right? So everything is booked. And so I'm just sitting here looking like I am so tired of getting done like this, but I didn't even say nothing. So she pretends, I'm going to say pretend, that she finally got a reservation. I was like, well, send me the screenshot. I never got the screenshot. I never got the screenshot, right? So me and Nicole went to get ice cream pizza or something, and Nicole was like, Nikki, I'm better off holding this goddamn camera. So, I don't know, I'm so dark. So, Nicole was like, Nikki, when I left, when we went to Vegas and I came back, we came back, I specifically told Sugar, you know you got to show out for Mother's Day because I'm not here. So, that added fuel to the fire because Nicole done told, like, you're just selfish. And y'all don't know the extent of the, yes, y'all do, the extent of the shit I do for this girl. Like the extent of me working depressed, grieving, sick, all of this to make sure this girl got, uh, I go above and motherfucking beyond. And that's how you do me? All right, so I was already in my feelings about that. We get back to Dallas. My daddy is asking me something about the cameras or whatever. So I look on the camera and I see some shit I didn't like. I'm not gonna go too far into that because that's our business. I don't got to put everything on here, but just know it got to put out. It got to put out, y'all. And, 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 and let me just tell you something, because I have no feelings about it. I have I don't know if I've trained my mind because of all the shit I've been through to just be heartless and emotionless. I have zero feelings. That's just like when Nicole left me this time, I was over it in two days. I have zero feelings and I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. My emotions are just not there anymore. Like, if you want to be with me, you want to be with me. If you want to stay with me, you want to stay with me. If you want to leave, you can go. If you want to act funny, I can act hilarious. Like, I don't care anymore. You get what I'm saying? So, let's just fast forward a little bit. So, all of that happened. And then, I have another issue with a back tire. So I'm just like, why do stuff keep happening with my tires? Because, you know, we had a blowout going to Cozumel. And if you want to talk about that, everybody in their phone, Googling, even my 13-year-old cousin is the one that found us the 24-hour tire shop five miles up the road. She's just sitting back there. Like, it, it's just like, who, who are you now? You get what I'm saying? So anyway, I'm telling Mr. Get It Right everything that happened. He's working, but he's taking the time to stop and see what's going on with me in between clients or whatever. So I'm telling him what's going on and then I, I hit him back about two hours. I'm like, I'm gonna have to go get another tire, blah, blah, blah. So when he gets out of work, he calls me. He's like, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. I'm so tired, I'm so hungry and all this. I'm at home, remember? And so I'm just listening to him talk and he goes into saying how he's about to go to a restaurant and get him a meal and all this. And I'm just letting him talk. I'm just letting them talk and I'm just listening like okay so I finally just said I said you know what I've had the, a rough long ass day I said so it would have been nice to say hey meet me here wherever you're trying to go get something to eat and let's just take your mind off some things get on back to my place and let's just take your mind off some things you talking about going to eat and have a drink so he backed those that when well, you're absolutely right I'm sorry I can send something to your house if you would like. 
or worst case scenario you could just come back over here and I could just hold you at this point I'm over it because that's the type of stuff Nicole would do to me like she, she would wait till I say something and then try to do it it's too late now I already feel the way I feel so I just told him I said you know what I think we st we, we move too fast we, we talked about this in another blog I ain't say all this to him but to myself I just feel like he's still not ready for me he's still not ready for me like he's still not ready that was not a grown man response to somebody who has been through a long hard day with their child why are you going to eat solo all of a sudden why and then like this past weekend when i was on a cruise it was like i'm going to smoke cigars in my bars then yesterday i was listening to him talk he was like he went to red zoos with somebody like you you be leaving out too many details and stuff for me and that's fine because you don't have to tell me step by step what you're doing but you are trying to build trust in me right right so i'm not even for the stress over that but I do want to touch the surface with him a little bit because at the beginning of my last vlog, I was hyper irritated with him. And no, 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 I'm no, 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 no. I take that back. I was not hyper irritated with him. I was hyper sensitive because I just don't know what I want. I kind of just want to have fun. I, 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 and so I just want to make sure that he's not love bumming me and all of that kind of stuff. And you guys dropped y'all opinions like a motherfucker, baby. Y'all dumped it on me, bag it up and dumped it on me about what I shouldn't be doing. I'm the prize. Why would I let him keep breaking my heart? And I've told you guys in another video as well that I forgave him both times because of the circumstances. Now, this is going to be the last time I'm going to put y'all in my business. And I'm only putting y'all in my business because I put y'all in my business. Let's just say that. So, I just want to clear this up. When I was having that conversation in the car, I was frustrated and just making sure that I am not getting love bummed. Like, everything this man is saying is what he know I need to hear right now. Everything he's making me feel and he know I need that right now. And I am fresh out of a marriage and I just feel like he's been the perfect guy to stop me from dating other people if you want to know the truth so it was not the opportunity to go in on my character his character clearly the man is not a bad person i've been dealing with his ass since 2006 but that doesn't mean he's the person for me and it's okay if I want to figure that out on my own. I don't need a, a masses to tell me I'm the prize and why am I giving him another chance? Because I want to. Because the head is good. What? Do I need to keep going? So, my thing is, I'm just going to say this one time because I've been talking 10 minutes. And I just want to get out of this headspace, guys. Please let me out this headspace. I love you all dearly. Y'all talk me through so much. Some of y'all can be my therapist. Uh huh. Some of y'all got grand, great old advice. And I really, really appreciate that. But this is what I'm going to say. The first time this man broke my heart, I wasn't ready either. This man found out a lot of stuff about me that he didn't know. A lot of what's going on with my life that he didn't sign up for. And he picked somebody else over me, basically. He picked a better candidate, which I wish you all would do. Like, at the time, I was in the club. I was in the streets. He picked somebody who he probably felt like was more responsible. I don't know. I'm not him. If he would like to tell y'all about it, because he told me not to even tell y'all all this when we first started dating, because he knew y'all would judge. But if, if he want to tell his side of the story, I would let him. So I let him make it on that. Yeah, that crushed the hell out of me. But as all of you guys should do, he made the decision that he thought was right for him at the time, based on what he did and didn't know about me. Now, throughout the years, he realized that I am really a giving, kind, hardworking person and that he messed up. He made the wrong decision. All right. Second time, me and Nicole had a nine month break. Y'all know that. We were separated. We still live together, but we were separated. I was dating him. I was dating somebody here. I was dating somebody in Los Angeles. I was doing the motherfucking fool. Right? So... 
I had a lot going on again. I was just playing. I was just playing. I was just having fun. Nicole ended up reproposing to me, right? She ended up reproposing to me. So I I instantly had to drop everybody, right? And he moved on really quick. And I think that's that's a him thing. He needs to, he's going to therapy and all that to figure out whatever. That's his business. But that's the second time because in both incidents, I understand why he did what he did. But the amount of love this man portrays that he have for me, it just be moving too damn fast for me or something. I don't know. So we're going to get off of that. And we're going to go in here and get our eyes rechecked. Hopefully they give me a, a prescription. I mean, a refund for the prescription context I already bought. And we're just going to try to elevate our mood, y'all. I'm in this season where it's me against the world. And before, Lord Jesus, before I am back in that mind frame I was in at the end of 2023 where I told Nicole, I'm not going into 2024 like this. I was drained. I was tired. I didn't even want to wake up. I was overworked. I was underappreciated. I was stepped on. I was abused. I was used. Before I go back into that mind frame, I get rid of anybody causing stress in my life. And I, I just really, I'm choosing me first, y'all. And you should too. Now let's get the hell up in here because why the hell they give me these old Fred Sanford ass, uh, I, I'm coming to see you, Elizabeth ass glasses. I can't see, I mean, prescription I can't see out of. Man, let's go. They got me feeling like Lil Durr, baby. I can't see. I had an eyebrow right here and an eyebrow right here. I didn't know where to draw. <laughs> Fix it. ASAP. All right, guys. So it was not my prescription. It was the brand of those clear contacts I was wearing. So they told me to go home and throw away all of the extra trials they got me because I don't need them anymore anyway because I got my actual contacts yeah and I, he was like why didn't you put the color on to try and see if it's the brand because why would i open this whole box and then y'all be saying y'all can't refund me because i done opened it i moved smart so i'm gonna put me some shades on and we're gonna go to starbucks there you go y'all they better have it too summer berry lemonade let's go baby i pulled over because i'm gonna start sipping this without y'all Strong. Put my jaws to use. Mm, mm, mm. This is definitely the drink of the summer. It's good as hell. They need. They should have put a little bit more boba or whatever in mine, but it's real good to me. Real good. I got a grilled cheese too, but I'm only gonna eat half because we don't need to be stopped up. It's platinum deep. Baby, that's too good. The best refresher I've had. You really wanna know the truth. My God, this shit is good. <laughs> Baby, it's too good. Bro, oh, it's good. Yeah, my car's so damn dirty. Let me put my shades back on because I'm about to talk my shit again. Why is my car dirty? Trash, paper everywhere. I'm gonna fourth the tank. I don't have any flowers. That's why I need a team. Yeah, I'm about to show y'all some. Just sit back and enjoy the ride. Cause I why the hell people been playing with me, bro? Like I ain't that. They stared her waiting on me. They said pull up on me. What? Yeah. It's just something about this drink when them balls pop in your mouth. That's what make it go hard. Let me tell y'all what to be bum. Y'all know how I get the strawberry refresher and I tell them to add peach. I'm going to tell them to add some of them balls at the bottom. Whoa! I know that's going to go hard. Let me show y'all what I got real quick because when I get home... I'm going to do a sponsorship. 
I'm having to put some nails on just to do a sponsorship because it's perfume bottles I gotta show. Uh-oh. We, we gotta. We definitely gotta switch this stand over. My car is atrocious. So, very simple. I got some more of these that I got last vlog. They're like milk chocolate pecans. I don't have any salt in them. Which I don't understand how it has sea salt. Sea salt is not salt. Sodium is 0% on these. And I ain't supposed to be eating chocolate, but they don't bother me. And they be right by the register. $3.99, baby. Last time is to get right. was popping them like some. Alright, they good. And they did have the last two bottles that I didn't get the last time. Now I can just put one of these in my travel case and like never take it out. And I got a backup bottle. You get what I'm saying? Submit it to my madness. So let's get home and work. I try to spruce it up, but I really don't have nothing to do. Ain't nobody supplying nothing for me for Mother's Day. So I guess I got to do it myself. And thanks I get for being a damn good ass mama. A lot of years. I ain't even tripping though. You have to realize what goes around comes around. You reap what you sow. So. I just put everything in the boys hanging. Yeah. One of y'all, I'm still eating. Just told me that these smell alike. I'm about to see. Because I ain't never heard that before. I guess I should start a new perfume tray, huh? I've been so on the move. I've been having this same perfume tray the last three vlogs. I'm just all ways. Black opium. It does. Oh, wow. Oh. You remember when I kept saying, smells familiar. It smells familiar. That's because these, Dice Amber Vanilla, is inspired by YSL Black Opie. That settles that. Look at my eye, y'all. I ain't gonna do it because I'm trying to show you. It's twitching. It's a nerve. I'm gonna have to chill. This has been the tray of the last 15 vlogs. <laughs> 100 Silent Ways Exalte, my custom blend from Amir Oud and Gentle Fluity Go. I'm not gonna put much on here because this vlog isn't gonna be that long, but let's switch it out. We're gonna start mm -hmm. with putting this that I just bought. That's Laura Mercier's Amber Vanilla. We're just going to leave that on there since I've been using it. So this is what we're doing really, really quick. All right. We're going to go with Kai Ali Vanilla 28. That's everybody's favorite, but you see how I hardly use it? I mean, it got a dent in it, but I hardly use it. This is like a Patel by Zerzhoff. Ooh, bouquet. Ooh, bouquet by Lancome back there. BDK Passe Soir. Yeah, it's this season. So, that's going to be our tray. It 
will be linked below along with the last tray. So we're gonna get this day started. Um, I had a bit of a rough night last night. Um, I don't know if it was, I don't know what it was. I did the food yesterday, the grilled cheese, the Starbucks, the wings. I don't know, I had a bit of a rough night. So I'm just gonna get the ball moving today. We're gonna do our hair, um, nails probably. Let me do my nails first cause I gotta do a dossier sponsorship as well. Um, do my hair. This hair will be at the beginning of last vlog. And yeah, I um yesterday I was having memory problems on my and my phone was telling me to delete apps and pictures and messages and I don't have many pictures and messages in my phone, so I started deleting apps and I realized I was um kicked out of his apartment app. Which is fine, yo. If I ain't talking to you, what do you need access to my house for? But it just reminded me of why I was hesitant in the first place. Um, it's either three strikes you're out or three times a charm. And we see what happened again. And, you know, it's very unfortunate because he was one up. I mean, he was, <laughs> y'all saw it. I wasn't even asked on the phone and stuff for other people anymore. Um, over there every night so clearly um, that's what I wanted but I'm learning to let the universe do what it do because it's gonna happen regardless we can't dictate it uh, yeah so let's just get ourselves together y'all um, I don't feel, like I told y'all yesterday, I don't feel no type of way. I just, I really just feel like, damn, there was no fight. No, girl, you ain't coming to get no clothes. Calm down. There was no nothing. And honestly, I feel like since the whole weekend when we went out, the Hilton Better Than Sex, um, Amir Oob, his mood has kind of been off. I even asked him, like, and he was saying how he was going to go to therapy and all that. And I just feel like he not ready, y'all. He act like he is, but he still want to be a high boy, which is fine. And I just be a high girl. Showtime. I got to get him to fuck. Did my nails real quick. They're like a mauve and silver. Yeah, toes need to be done too, because, baby... Them press on toenails didn't survive that cruise, but it was the brand I used. I'll never get that brand again. It was horrible. Like, I even had a hard time putting them on. And I just did the dumbest thing ever and did my nails when I should have done my toes first. Because it's hard to put them toenails on with um, nails on. But it's okay. Um, let me do my dossier sponsorship, then I'll work on my hair. All right, guys, this hair review is done. My CA sponsorship is done. And I just got a package. I bet it's work. Let me show y'all a couple of things I got while I have on clothes, honey. Oh, and I still got to take my pictures. Why have I been forgetting to take my pictures lately? Like, last vlog, I took all of my clothes and everything off almost. No, oh, I didn't. I had pinned her back up. And um, was like, oh, you didn't take pictures. Let's go. So, guys, I got a package from Strivectin, which is a skincare line. I used to get products from them all the time. All the, all the time. And I think I've received this from them before. This is the TL Advanced Tightening Neck Cream Plus. So, I had the regular neck cream, guys. And I'm super excited that they sent this to me for a number of reasons. I am getting older. And ever since I lost weight, I have this, like, neck issue I can't control. Y'all know I'm not going to mess with my body surgery, especially my face, baby. So, we're going to see if this is going to work out. Yeah, it's kind of like a turkey neck effect, like, and it didn't happen until I lost weight. So thank you so much, Strivec, and for sending that over to me. I will make sure I link it below for you guys. So I also got this big box to my PO box. Um, but I have no idea who sent this to me. If you sent it to me, let me know. Because I don't think the company itself did. It's a brewmate. 
face. Oh my gosh. I am like, because oh, y'all know I've been buying the heck out some tumblers lately, but this one, I don't, this one, I know this is supposed to do something real special, honey, because, baby, look. This thing, so, look at this. It's like a, it feel. I can't even explain. It just, it feels so good. So it's leak proof, cold key, cup holder friendly, 24 hours cold, and it's 40 ounces. So right here it have where you can turn it and lock the straw. It's kind of like the Starbucks cup I had. Or you can turn it to sip, or you can line it right here to clean it. Oh my gosh, I am super excited about this cup because I actually gave the Starbucks cup to my dad because it looked per it was supposed to be purple, but it looked more blue and my dad loved blue. And so one of you guys, I'm guessing, sent this to me um, because I don't remember them reaching out to me. So if it was one of you guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I absolutely love this cup. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I'm a sipper. So I'm glad it got the built-in straw. Isn't the color just gorgeous? <laughs> is it not? And so I got one more package, but this is from Ashimari Hair. So it's time for six half a year update, life update. So I will put those questions on Facebook, Instagram right now, and we'll answer those questions doing my hair. So that's it for right now, guys. I am about to shower. Um, someone is coming into town tonight. I'm not telling y'all who it is. If we're able to meet up, you'll just see them on camera. <laughs> Guys, look at my shirt that just came. This is, I love this shirt. Like, love. I think I'm going to wear this to Togetherland. I love this, like, with a passion. Oh, my gosh. Um, I saw it on a Facebook ad. If I find the link, I'll post it, of course, for sure. They had crop tops and everything. And then look at this one. It say everything I know I learned from the streets. <laughs> I'll link them below. I got Nicole um, this one too. She wanted this one. But yeah, too cute. I'm hungry. And unfortunately, I don't have anything in my kitchen. Because I don't be here, so I haven't bought groceries. <sighs> Gotta go get me something to snack on real quick. I just started feeling lightheaded out of nowhere. Baby, Too Faced I ain't playing. New package every week. This is the Hangover Pillow Balm. Let's see. Brand new shades of your favorite nourishing hyaluronic infused balm. Baby, I know I love these lips looking juicy. It's three new, um, I was going to say flavors, but colors. You got Pink Mint. Very Vanilla and Cranberry Crush. Thank you so much, Too Faced. So, yeah, I'm supposed to be going to be Miss Diva like today, child. But uh, she ain't called. She said her flight landed at 5. It's 10 o'clock. <laughs> so, I guess I'm not going to meet Miss Diva like today. I done kept my makeup on and everything. Like, should I still go somewhere like a bar or something? Honestly, y'all, it's Mother's Day weekend and I don't want to be out in it. I don't want to be out in it, but this is crazy to me. So, let me tell y'all what's crazy. <laughs> let me tell y'all what's crazy. So, last night, I have a second line. I do not touch that second line because that was like my makeup by Platinum Phone, like where people would call to make appointments, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, I don't touch that phone. child y'all remember the night of sugar engagement when i told y'all i went by a bar and i was like <laughs> i think oh let me turn the camera off because i got to tell sugar by last night the part i didn't record <laughs> we talk about everything y'all yeah, something is seriously wrong with my ass okay i told y'all i went by a bar right and i was like i ain't stay long i ain't i ain't explain why or whatever so when i went to the bar that night i saw somebody and what am, do i even want to say this hold on i saw somebody who is like Y'all gonna just think, oh, all over the place, but the one, okay? 
but me and this person beefing like we're not really beefing but i really was like really 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 was feeling mr get it right you know what i'm saying so i'm just like i'm gonna do the right thing for when i literally put all my undivided attention into him until he started acting a little moody and off you know what i'm saying and y'all in the comments was like it, it was like that because it was fresh and yeah i guess so because now he just like over me which is cool so let's get back to the the one so <laughs> that's what we go call him mr the one why last night i decided to turn on this for a phone and had two missed calls from him that night after i left that club now i, I ain't gonna lie I know he was texting me. I know he was texting me because my text messages from that phone go to one of my email addresses. I knew that, but I put that on everything I love. I was ignoring that man, and I went straight to Mr. Get It Right House. Like, you ain't finna throw me out my A-game. I'm feeling this dude right now. That's what I'm doing right now. But now he had called. <laughs> Should I call him back? <laughs> Say man, say man, play a PvP back, PvP back. I done got dumped again. But I just keep getting dumped. <laughs> I just keep getting dumped, girl. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Lord, why is this my life right now? <sighs> why is this my life right now? But I'm just, you know, I'm just finna enjoy life, you know. But I told my cousin, I said, and I, oop, not he had called two, three times. <laughs> not me filling out my description box for the vlog this um about to go live. I'm dropping them back to back. Yeah, I got a lot of content to get out. And they got new shades. They got new shades of the Dior lip balm. I think I only want this one though. It's like a purple pinky hue. Or should I just get all three? Mm, that was real close to this one that's already out. That's purple. See this brown? Mahogany. Look at mahogany and then look at the new one. Bronzed glow. Then this one's similar to one I got too. Rosy coral is similar to rosewood. Eh. Ooh, what y'all think? Get them out. Yeah. So here's the game plan. I am headed to the cemetery. I'm going to put my mama banner down for Mother's Day. And it's just going to stay down to her birthday. Because that's in a couple of weeks. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my son's banner down too. Because his birthday is Tuesday problem is the screws are missing that i put the banner down with yeah this month just keep getting more and more interesting and that's because they are in the back of my son's uncle car because he go and take the banners down and stuff for me and that's who just passed away who funeral i went to a couple of vlogs ago so i had a moment <laughs> rightfully so i've had 30,000 moments in this vlog um because i'm just like what universe what 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 i'm still gonna put a cent on go get eight up bottom bugs at the cemetery from this vanilla 28 all that other stuff hard hitters two three four hundred dollars stuff i'm not gonna put on right now this smells so good <clears throat> That's what jump Kyle and Lee off the map because that smells so freaking good. So I gotta stop somewhere. Yeah, I gotta stop somewhere and get some screws. And I waited till the peak of the heat, so I made me a look what I do. But it don't take long to put four banners down. And let me get on because I do have a prom sent off I gotta be at. I'm in the hardware store. Definitely about to get anxiety. Woo. Found the owl. Maybe I should just come straight. Nails this goddamn eye. My outfit say maybe I should just start coming straight in and saying, Hey, where are your 
instead of getting anxiety looking for stuff. Because baby, <laughs> baby who? Just breathe, Nikki. Just breathe. Cause why nails? Twenty-two dollars. Well, I guess I don't need five pounds, but still. Okay, so let me try to find what I'm looking for. That probably will actually be more in the screws, not the I mean, screw driver. Okay, y'all yeah, found some smaller packs. But I need quite a few because my dad used to fix my mailbox as well. So I need to get some for that. What? Oh, dang. Hey, what inch do you think I need? Shut the shit, talk to me. You All can, uh, <laughs> you can buy them each two, like 10 cents each. Okay. I need some with a hook. Uh -huh. A little hook. <laughs> yeah, something's wrong with me. Oh, maybe these are the if I get these, I definitely will have to go back and pick them up. These are things. But I will still need nails. Y'all don't care, huh? Y'all really don't freaking care. Just get to the cemetery, right? 12 years later, I found what I was looking for. Those things right there that like come in a box when you build and stuff. And they are only 89 cents each. I'm glad I ain't no little liar because you could put on there yourself how much the screws and stuff are. <sighs> on the little baggy. On the little baggy. But I, I almost had a moment in there. I'd be having to get myself together. What is wrong with me? I just get overwhelmed. Let's go, y'all. Get it done. Get her done. What an angle. What a freaking angle. Give me some good jamming music on while I hit the freeway. First and foremost, the man is out here mowing today. It is the day before Mother's Day. Yeah, y'all know I hate coming out here with a whole bunch of people out here because watching other people and stuff cry triggers me. But it's the day before Mother's Day. Why y'all just not mowing the yard? And y'all, he tired. He is under a tree. I don't even have no extra bottle of water none for him. He is under a tree over here wiping. Tired. All right, let me get this out the way. I guess I, let's just go. Oh, everything I love, I can't even see my son, girl. Let me, I'm gonna show y'all he under this tree. I'm gonna tell him, bro, come here, come here. I'm real confused about this. I'm gonna show y'all. Oh, I hope both of they balance in here because I didn't even check, oh, yeah. Fall in the hole, y'all. Show y'all. I don't know how they burying these people. Like, is it on top of each other? Because this is fresh ground, right? This is my son's right here. But I, this is my son's. So, well, I guess he directly right here. Yeah, it's mighty close, honey. I'm going to uh, cover most of this. I don't want to step on it, but I have no choice. Oh, no, I can't show y'all this at all. Yeah, this man is still under the tree. Oh, shoot. The down and everything about the blow. Those running. Why is my homeboy out here? Park right here. 
Everybody done told me to quit coming out here by myself. I was just like headed to the cemetery. Need to pull up. I'm stuck. No, 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 no. On the real though, I just want to thank God because the other years I've came out here, I was so like out of it. Ooh, goddamn, about to get stung. Dehydrated, like mom wasn't here. That I was like out here rushing because I felt like I was going to pass out. And I don't have that feeling at all today. Oh, I'm done because he came and put this one down. So he done already went over there and started cleaning out my mama's for me. So I can um, finish. I'm just grooming it a little bit. All right, let me get my pics and my video. I was trying to see if I laid this crooked. Yeah, I can't see nothing. Y'all can't see my phone. Y'all hear him down there? He's still under the tree. So my son has a red and purple banner. I really wanted to put the red one out because he has red and white flowers out. His tombstone is like burgundy red. But that thing is big. It'll take over this hole. So y'all remind me to get a new red banner made because that was too big. I'll be taking over the hole until he finally moves me, y'all. Look. Hold on. I can't show y'all his car. My friend car right here truck right here. Hold on, let me go on the other side of the truck. Look like it's stopping on them or something. Yeah, man, I disappeared. So my friend was like cleaning up the actual headstone until the man mowed and he just done disappeared. I'm not gonna sit out here all day, so I'm gonna do what I can do. I'm gonna do what I can do. I'm overworking myself. the fuck they got some they got some spider spiders out here do you hear me scoot it over so this one say happy birthday mama love baby girl but i just went ahead and brought flowers for mother's day too so yeah and guess who's back now that we're done Baby, I done came to treat myself to some hood chicken and fried rice and end up getting fish nuggets. So they tell me to wait on them. I'm looking at my Carnival Cruise vlog because I had a really great time on that vlog. So I was like, maybe if I watch this vlog, um, it'll cheer me up. We really had fun. But I'm finna get out because I forgot I've been pulling weeds and stuff. And I'm finna eat right here in this car and I need to make sure my hands clean. I'll be right back. I'll show y'all my food. I know you playing. Who gonna eat all this? Police. I'm so little freaking dirty. <laughs> Get your dirty. But I'm too dirty. I'm too, too dirty. Hold on, yeah. So, yeah. What's up? Baby, that Kylie went strong. You hear me? I'm about to take me a real quick shower. And we go get the night started. This who gonna come through every vlog. And I need to get my butt over on that makeup channel. But y'all see, I can't even sit still. It's called the Pixie Perfect Pair. It is their On The Glow blush stick. This is like a cream blush. And this is their On The Go, um, that's not what it's called. Lip Glow in the color Ruby. Thank you so much, Pixie. Yeah, I'm really over here. I think it just hit me. I really got quit on my day off. How the hell I get quit and I wasn't even in no relationship? I'm just going to tell y'all. So I'm asking him, I'm like, you sure? You, you sure? Because he real moody. And he got mad because I asked him, was he bipolar? And I was really serious. I've just got out of a situation with somebody with mental illness. And, and if you're bipolar, just tell me that so I know when this mood switch in and out. Oh, maybe this is bipolar. Okay, so I, I'm like, dang, dog. Let me tell y'all what the man said. I'm trying to be serious, so I'm trying not to laugh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So the man said, I love you to death. I love you to death. And this is so hard, but I'm going to have to pass on us. 
And I was like, oh, that's interesting. Why? And he was like, because of the way you just be snapping on me. Yeah. Of course, if I already don't trust you, you don't answer the phone for two hours. One incident. You go, I go to London. You put me on. Do not disturb. Two incident. I'm sitting over here having a nervous breakdown about work and asked you to go give me a hard drive. Even told him I would pay for it. I said I would send you the money for it. He didn't go get it. He act like he didn't know. I told him to go get it. Then the other day when I snapped, oh, it was over the hard drive. And then, um, I ain't gonna even tell y'all what really happened because it's too, too personal and I never do nobody like that. But yeah, like I was laying in his bed and somebody knocked on the door. It wasn't another female or nothing, but, and I asked him what was going on with that and we had a little filing out of, about it. When I just snapped, I just snapped about something. What did I just snap about? I do be snapping, so so y'all gonna move on because I think the snapping comes from the fact that I already don't trust him. So when he do any little thing that's almost a little snakeish to me, I in the back of my head I be like, oh this nigga playing me. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> but I told him, I said, sir, all females snap. I said, do you do you think you're gonna be in a relationship and nobody's gonna snap? I was like, especially when you're doing stupid shit. And he said, yeah, yeah. I said, well, why are you 43 and you haven't been married? I said, you've been with some people before. He, he said, I deal with two females. I ain't never snapped. I said, so why am I sleeping over there every night? deep over here y'all but let me stop let me stop i just want to get all it out the way <laughs> i gotta get it all out of my because y'all gonna ask when i do a question and ask you what happened what happened that's what happened the man say he'll pass on me because i'll be snapping and you goddamn right i'll be snapping with your snake ass ways i ain't finna let none pass bro and I ain't and then when he said he'll pass i was like that's the right decision because i'll pass on you too because you're very mm. Let me cut the camera. Oh, hell no. Nah, I'm back. Because I ain't spending my therapy session talking about him. A paid session when I can talk to y'all. Y'all gonna go in on the comments. Then he gonna ask me. He gonna say he didn't see nothing wrong what he did the other night. That's what he did. When I pushed sugar out, he didn't see nothing wrong. He told me I'm out for the feed you. Bro, I'm not too. I'm not broke. I'm not homeless. I can feed myself. I can, get, I can have a hundred niggas over here cooking in my kitchen. Feed me? Like, it's a privilege. Yeah, you can cook, but you're not the only one that can cook, sir. You're, you're not the only one that can cook. And I said, what's the real issue? Just, just say you over it. I said, I think the problem is me being over there every fucking day, every fucking day, every fucking day, every fucking day, every fucking day. We have a time to miss each other like that. Even though I've been to Cozumel, I've been to London, I've been to Vegas, I've been to, I, I've been going a lot. But, sir, just say you want to date. And that's why your ass still single at 43 with no kids. Because you play too many fucking games. And that's why you just third strike and I'm out. Caught me for a good time. That's about it. <laughs> or did you not just want to buy a Mother's Day gift or take me out for Mother's Day? <laughs> or did what I said at the end of the beginning of the last vlog strike a nerve? Cause remember, sir didn't want me to tell y'all this tattoos about him. Sir didn't want me to tell y'all he broke my heart in the past. So is he really in his feelings? <laughs> Moody ass. Yeah. It, it's amazing how you can sit up and overlook so many, so, so many flaws of others because you love them so much while they sitting up and pointing all your flaws out. Like, you know how much stuff I overlooked that irritated me? Hmm. So much. The man took off work every other fucking day because of car problems or stomach problems. And I would be like, so why can't you just go on and go to work? Uber. You want to let... It? Yeah, let me turn this camera on because what I'm not going to do is go there because I got a lot of love for this man and I'm just angry right now. Or is it the fact that 
<laughs> we off of that. Like I would tell. Yeah, I'm about to switch this dress out because I literally thought it was to my ankles and it's to my under my knee. Mm. Babe. Babe. I'm gonna show y'all what I got on. It ain't nothing. I just really threw on some because I really probably should I already be out the door by now. I'm give y'all a little song. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. It's purple and white. It's like one of those illusion dresses, and I got on these white Steven shoes. Remember, I told you I don't know who Steven is. I thought it was Steve Madden, but you thought. So, how I look. Let's go. Yeah, why is raining? I might should text her for her song. <sighs> Katie! 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 He can't hear Katie! Look at him. He said, I'm clapping. I'm clapping. Hey. You look good. Baby, get Thank you. you excited? <laughs> yeah. Oh, fit check, fit check. Fit check, fit check. Talk to you too, kid. You ready? I don't want your mom okay to make sure her street now. Oh. Now I don't like getting people, you know what I'm saying, out of respect. We out here in the rain. In the rain. In the rain. Anything for the kids, y'all. I'm trying to be cute. Hold on. Look, it is. It is. Look at her glasses, y'all. I said they real cute. Not the Gucci. All right, y'all. I made it. She told me I don't come. I'll send you videos. Bye. Have a good night. Bye, y'all. Bye, child. I'm trying to keep my nephew. <laughs> I appreciate it, but I I still can't. <laughs> yeah, I made it, and I'm so happy because he was so happy. Got to see all them fun fact. Y'all just saw me go to her wedding. Was that December? Fun fact: I was at her sister' wedding. We was in college together, and one of her sister friends, her sister was in the military, and one of her friends ended up not making it. And her sister was in one of those frantic states. And I was like, I can fit the dress. Let's go. And so ever since then, it's like her mama and them and stuff, like, call me their daughter. And her mama just had knee surgery. So I had to go in and check on her mama and stuff. And they've just been the sweetest family to me my whole life. So my battery is dying. God, if it don't stop raining, the rain. Y'all know where I got that from. We are in the rain. Why are you? Why are your tenders when we need them? We're in the rain. The rain. He left us out here in the rain. I gotta get to the house though, y'all. Cause this is the side of town that be storming, storming. I ain't got time. Like tornadoes and stuff be hitting over here. As a matter of fact, bye. Happy Mother's Day. This Mother's Day is no different from any other Mother's Day. I literally hate Mother's Day. Um only difference is nicole is not here to like take me out to eat and all that but that's fine we just go keep it pushing i really have this mind over matter um thing that happens with me now so i don't sweat much but right before i went to london i did have a um miss out so i'm gonna run to the drugstore real quick to make sure i'm clear on that not that kind of mishap but you know even though i'm menopausal i still just want to make sure <laughs> make sure ain't no baby i just still want to make sure i ain't finna have another reason to celebrate mother's day next year and this right here oh my gosh whoo this was almost beast mode. It was so strong in my clothes. It's so strong in that dress still. Everybody was telling me how good I smell. Look, I can tell there are plenty things that no, I don't ever hardly hear anybody duping this. But this do, this do fall in the, no, I ain't gonna fall in the same family as Herbal Pure. This is 
so good, baby. Baby, that's too good. I'm thinking Zerjoff. I need to try more of them because everything I got from them, bangers. Love. Somebody's texting me. We're just going to put a splash of pass out swat because I'm just literally going to get a test and get some. Yeah, this rude ass camera died on us, ain't it now? Um, a splash of pass out swat. Um, because I'm just running to the drugstore to give me something to eat. I kept my makeup on her eye last night. I actually stayed up on FaceTime with Nicole. I think she's worried, but that's the only person that's done got me some. <laughs> um, because I thought I was going to meet Miss Diva, like, but she was here for a family function. So I wasn't going to press the issue. Well, actually, she reached out to me and was like, I'm in town. But then her flight got here the day we was late. We were supposed to go to dinner. Then yesterday, she was at a party and, you know, enjoy your family. And that's what you're here for, not me. So, um, is there anything else I want to tell y'all? All I'm going to do today is work. And if I feel like it after I do my hair, I'm going to do a bun. It's storming in Texas today, so I'm glad I went to the cemetery yesterday. I'm going to do a bun, and if it come down a little bit, I'll treat myself out tonight probably. That's a big maybe, and then we got to pack, because... Who's gonna go again? Me. All right, let's talk about what I got. Yeah, my phone is blowing up. It's so ugly here today. I don't know what I want to eat either. Girl, calm down. Need some? All right, so I am obsessed with these. Ever since I had the gum. <laughs> problems from having parasites baby everything coming out my teeth after every meal mister couldn't get it right knew to give me one of these because i just so i usually carry some in my purse some in my travel thing and some at home i'm running low at home i ran out of the ones in my purse so i just got three different kinds because all of them aren't created equal i like the ones that have the really thin floss so I just got three different kinds. This is like a natural kind, the Eco Gang. And they're black. I just think that's really cute. They're double too. But yeah, I got three different kinds of these. Cause baby, on that cruise ship, I didn't have none. I almost went crazy. And there's something about this tooth over here. Y'all know I done been to the dentist about it 500 times. My dentist swear ain't nothing wrong, but it catch everything I eat. And it shoots up like a nerve and start making my head hurt. My my dentist swear up and down. Ain't nothing wrong over there. Okay, anyway. Then they had some fake ass therapies, guys. Then I Oh well. I told y'all I needed some for my toothbrush at Mr. Can't get it right house, but uh <laughs> it doesn't hurt to have backups. Fun fact, Steripod was the first company to ever sponsor me on YouTube, meaning pay me. Nope, 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 nope. Sherry's Berries was. This was the second company. I mean, not, not them, Steripods. <laughs> then I always just get some, as, how do you pronounce this? Acetamin, hold on, because I'm going to get it right. Acetaminophen. Acetaminophen? <laughs> Tylenol, but it's their version. Work just the same. I, I I watch. I be on TikTok. This one doctor on TikTok said y'all be buying that stuff for the brand. All of it work the same. I'm not even convinced Tylenol work, but that's all I can take. Actually, my doctor prescribed me some ibuprofen, and I still ain't took them. Chef, she said your stomach is healed enough to start back taking ibuprofen. Baby, I'm scared. Baby, you think my stomach healed enough? Baby, I still be having minor, minor, minor problems, and I just don't want to flare them. And then I got two different brands of these, because I just came to the Dollar Tree, because well, I pay $8, $9, $10, $15, $25. They got pee on the stick and call it a day. Just a precautionary measure, y'all. I don't, you know, I, I feel like I'm menopausal and ain't nothing going to happen. But I tell you right now, if I take these tests and the lock ends abruptly, y'all know the fuck why. I done passed that and I don't have nobody here to help me. Baby, 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 let me tell you something. But I got another issue. We gonna call this vlog the issue. And y'all, I been trying to wear my little dresses because the pockets. I really do be trying to keep my phone out of my shirt, y'all. It's just such a bad habit. I just, I just, it just slips in there all the time. <laughs> my cousin sent me a video. She got the bunny on that I gave her for Christmas. <laughs> but, um... 
Yeah, I woke up to 127 text messages and I try not to, I know it seems selfish, but I don't like answering the phone and stuff on Mother's Day because it's very triggering because a lot of people like they really feel sorry for me and they be saying it and it's just like, it wasn't that bad till you called me and started saying how I know it did and I know. So I try not to answer the phone, but I, I guess I can't help it with the text messages, but I am going to have to end up calling my, um, my cousin and my auntie and stuff back because that's kind of selfish to have them worried about me oh wait a minute y'all hold on why are we on the phone no oh, no that's an agency but anyway um yeah i am gonna call them back because it's it, it's selfish to have them worried about me i just don't want to i don't like faking happy do that make sense so like when people call you or when people force you to go out, you got to fake happy or because you don't want everybody to keep what you're doing. or do, I mean, what's wrong? Or, and when people call me, I'm not really happy right now. So I got another issue. That's what I was saying. I'm looking on my camera and the police was at my house from like 915 to 947. I even see my daddy going outside, but my daddy ain't said nothing. So I'm trying to figure out, I guess it wasn't nothing crucial. Because my daddy ain't said nothing, but I'm about to call him. He should be out of church. Let's see. Weirdest vlog ever. And my hormones are raging. I just want to. That's the reason to cry. All this other stuff I don't give a fuck about. But <laughs> my hormones. <laughs> daddy. Uh -huh. You out of church? Yeah, I'm at church. Uh -huh. uh, what was the police there for this morning? They were uh, next door. I uh, saw that, that guy. Uh, guy that, you know, he went on probation. I saw him get out of the car yesterday and get on of it. I don't know if that legally or not. But they came over this morning. Two, two cars, the police over there. Uh, okay. The same problem neighbors. Yeah, uh -huh. Okay. All right, bye. Yeah. At this point, I'm gonna just start carrying this right here in my goddamn uh shirt. Let's just put it in our in my bra. I can disguise it very well, cause. Baby, we living in the last. What? It's a, it's something going on. I I don't know, Lord. I can't go to the prayer mount today. Oh, it's Sunday, so church is in session. Baby, maybe I should be at the church. But I'm a big believer that like the church is so toxic and and infiltrated now that you can praise the Lord from home and it's just as valuable as church because at church you don't know who's teaching us anymore. It be the biggest devil standing in front of us whatever i don't even want to get into that but um child um let me get me something to eat go home and i'm gonna just work let me just call my cousins and stuff because baby i don't want nobody worried about me i'm good hello they're brand yes ma'am i'm good i've been asleep yeah, that's what we just said. It just raining. Just got the door open. Tweet and went over Miss Christine house. But guess what's gonna okay. happen? What? I was leaving and I I be checking the camera to see who like uh, why the lights and stuff went off when we were asleep. And the police was over there from nine fifteen to nine forty eight. And I called my daddy at church. I'm like. Daddy, why was you out there talking to the police and ain't called and woke me up? Why that man next door done came back to that house? What man? The one that killed them people. That was harassing me. Ah. Uh -huh. I said, Daddy, you gotta start waking me up telling me that kind of stuff. Baby, this been me every day. I'm... Yes, can I get a um the chicken strip? Uh hold on. Where are the combos in? Oh, the four piece tender. Original. Gravy. Oh, um, what's my options? Sandwich. 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 Sand
Okay. What are my options? You have ranch, honey, mustard, and sweet sauce. Ranch is fine. All right, what's your size? Um, mashed potatoes and green beans. Mashed potatoes and green beans. So you, you want to sip the drink for another side? Huh? You know what? This that's okay. Thank you. Cause what the f man? I'm finna get. And then I'm trapped in that goddamn drive. I don't know what they got going on, y'all. Oh, I ain't trapped. Cause a man asked me, a woman asked me, y'all have no gravy, but y'all a chicken strip place. Y'all, y'all in and out. That girl said you want to sub your drink for for extra side girl. Who said that? Who, who said that? Who said that? Who said? Who said that? 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 <laughs> yeah, I'm done. That's just what drove up on these people. Shit, motherfucker. God damn. All right, so I'm gonna order me a sandwich because. Sweet little Nicole, the one y'all feel like I shouldn't be dealing with anymore. Sent me my favorite sandwich place gift card, uh, Jersey Mike's, baby. I slept on Jersey Mike for years, but I'm woke. Hello, I'm woke. Girl, they so good to me. Oh, they so good to me. So, boy, who? I, oh my gosh, I love them. I, I like literally obsessed with them. So I'm finna go use my gift card, give me a sandwich, and go home and work. And I'm going to LA, and LA is finna tickle y'all. Y'all finna talk bad about me, I'm ready. I don't give up! <laughs> y'all finna talk bad about me, cause uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I play a whole lot, and I been, this is a chatty vlog, I might name it that too. But I want y'all to really look at me as an example. Like, even if you don't like me, because for some reason, the people who don't like me still watch me. I want y'all to look at me as a prime example of why you should always put yourself first. Y'all sit up and watch me every other vlog. Poor, 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 poor. I even strangers. I could be walking in the thing and a lady would say, oh my gosh, that bracelet is too cute. I'd be like, here you go. Because it's just a bracelet. And that made somebody whole day. It's just a, a dollar Shein bracelet. You get what I'm saying? But it's Mother's Day and I'm riding around getting chicken strips, sandwich, whatever I'm about to get. And you know, I'm gonna be 100% honest with y'all. It's nothing to call up a whole bunch of people and enjoy my day, but would I really enjoy it? You know how your mind be on one place, and you know what? This nigga don't really fucked my mind up for real because any other person, I wouldn't even. Girl, y'all not on care. I was married one day and dating the Knicks. Y'all know I, 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 my mind is just trained to keep going. But it's just something about the fact that you playing with me multiple times. The moral of the story is that it's so easy to get caught up in making other people feel good and making other people happy and making sure that other people have things, nice things, go above and beyond. But what I want y'all to do is make sure that the people you got got you. And one more thing, since I'm on a rampage this vlog, let me tell y'all why. Tell y'all, I said I was gonna spur this man, but I'm not. Let me tell y'all why. Y'all remember that night I went over there and I came back home because it wasn't nowhere to park. Let me tell you the real reason why I left. Let me tell you the real reason why I left because I could have went parked somewhere and told him to come get me and just move my car the next morning. But he turned me off so freaking bad. Okay, so we sitting on the first level waiting on somebody to leave. A dude is walking, and we, me and him are talking on the phone. A dude is walking to a car. He was like, stay right here, because it look like that man is going to a car. You can get his space. And he was like, I know he don't stay over here in no Buick LeSabre. Okay, you said that to the same person 
people sit up and tell you all the time how these people try to put me in a brand new this. Make me get a brand new that. Make, and you know I got it. So what does the caliber of what this man drive got to do with if he can afford to stay in your, your complex neighborhood? Man, probably got more money than you, bruh. It was a turn off. Like, did you not just say, what? Because this man is in a certain car, you're saying he can't afford to stay in your neighborhood? Oh I, oh, I know he leave because he had a beautiful assembly. And I, and my exact words to him was cute and simple. I said, don't do that. Don't do that. Like, are you 12? <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You be looking past everybody else's flowers and they be magnifying yours. You mad because I be snapping, but every single, re every single time I snapped, I had a reason, right? I had a reason. I ain't just wake up bipolar like him. I just did a little test. Okay. These hoes hit. And look how they made. And the dinner floss is pink. Perfect. But all of them good. I know I got another brand I don't like. I'm just trying to get rid of them, but I really like these. These just smell funny when you open the package. Back home, y'all. Look how low I done got on this floral rhubarb. It's like Marc Jacobs Perfect from Dossier. Just clean my room. I need the vacuum, but I'm not going to right now. We're going to do something. Yeah, all my reads. Oh, I guess I ain't too low. Dossier. Hook us up. My next high from y'all better be diffusers. Let me get some work done. It's gonna be a question and answer video. Y'all got spicy and it's crazy because a lot of the questions was what you move in with and do is his better than with a woman? <sighs> so I guess I should drop this vlog first or am I dropping that first? How am I gonna break the news to y'all? Y'all don't kill me. Don't kill me. Because a lot of y'all was like, if he messed up my little auntie, don't kill him, y'all. He messed up me. I just wonder what he want. He, he don't, he left. He don't want somebody that's going to hold him accountable. He want to have fun and play still like he 18. So, let's do this hair review. Hair is done. Bum bun. Bum bun. Ashamari hair. Separate video. I put this little cute cotton candy number on um, to do my intro and outro for that video. But I am finna change this top. I'm definitely about to change this top to get pictures because I'm gonna already have a dress on on Instagram like this. Take care of the one. Take away zero. Take away zero. Y'all, my baby daddy just called. He is. Let's check on him. He is done he said he hung up the phone me earlier and he just hit him because his mama is gone too and he was like and our daughter acting a fucking fool right now and she got a mama full on booing pictures are done i'm not gonna tell y'all no more to get this light it makes a world of a difference y'all see how i look right now now wait till my camera adjusts but wait till how i look out for the light it just like gives me a glow, like a, it's on Amazon, honey. Everybody got this light. So we finna toss this down. Child, I think I done burnt the bunnet. I left the flat iron on it. <laughs> what are the chances? We're gonna tie it down. Um, and I guess I'll pack, y'all. I think I'm finna go over here and check on shoes, dad, though. His mother is deceased as well, and he's not taking all of this that's going on good. He just caught me and told me he loved me, and I'm one of the strongest women he know. Yeah, let me vacuum, because if I this floor one more time because of her, let's just vacuum. This is what I will be packing. This is the Spirit Approved Personal Item. It's almost like a purse, girl. I got purses bigger than this. Because I'm only going for two days. One, actually. I'm going to edit this question and answer real quick. 
But I'm gonna keep my makeup on in case I pop out tonight. <laughs> Little Miss Sixty. Girl, they say you fine, girl. No. Let us see. Tell them. No. Let me see. What the hell? Let me see no. a little something, something. You better get away from me. <laughs> it is safe to say. Hey, it's the next day. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell y'all something. I went to this. Never mind. So, I'm high, y'all. I just got the shower. My earring on in my house. We're just gonna put on ooh bouquet. It's all that's left on the tray, honey. And we're gonna head on out. Mm. I did not like this at first. Pockets and Bows was talking about it. I'm like, sis, what are you smelling? When it dried down. Mm, 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 mm. Gonna get them ankles. Mm. Still. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I've been to the bank. I've been to get something to eat. I've been a couple of places today, but it was nowhere y'all probably would want to see. Y'all don't care if we finish off the tray. I'm going to tell y'all right now, every motherfucking thing on this tray of bank. Let me show y'all what I got on. Yeah, I'm so happy. Sus was able to pack her whole little bag. So get that off of Amazon. Disclaimer, I showed it to you guys. And I said one of the perks of it was the fact that um, I could charge my phone with it on the side. But you do have to buy the bank. The bank was only like $17. It's not going to come in time. So I'm not worried about that this trip. This is just a little day trip. Shall I be right back? I'm just going to a YouTube event and to see. <laughs> you remember that nine month break? The one in Los Angeles. Oh, okay. So anyway, um, let me show y'all what I got on. My gold Tory Burch earrings. I was trying to wear my matte earrings, but, 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 because they go a little better with the shirt. One of my hooks is broke. Do y'all know how I can fix that? Baby, because, what, Tory Burch? And I got them things in a lot of colors. I got the matte gold. I got the uh, matte rose gold. This is the matte gold. And I got the shiny silver and the shiny gold. So, but I done gave Tory Burch a good five, six hundred on some earrings and my, my earring broke. Just bum bum. Question and answer. It's not up yet. It, mm, no, it won't be up. I'll put this up first. Um, This shirt, y'all saw me hollering it. Not hollering it, but everything I know I learned from the streets, literally. <laughs> that cracks y'all up when I say that because y'all be saying, I just started saying that until I went to London. And girl, whatever. Yes, I did. <laughs> Yes, this I did, girl. And then, um, drop it, drop it low, girl. Drop it, drop it low, girl. Drop it, drop it low, girl. It's not gonna be. Uh, mm, 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 mm. No, I'm just playing. Black leggings. Tory Burch Miller slides that I need to get a new pearl because I done ran these in the ground. Baby, done. These ones. <laughs> um, I gotta go because I gotta be at the parking shuttle at. While I'm playing three, and it's 221. Uh, be like living life on the edge, but I ain't got much to do. I'm already checked in, driving myself, and, and don't say nothing because when y'all send me on the next vlog coming home, I will be in this again. I do leave in what I come in, I change my drawers. Is that okay with y'all? <laughs> Alright, so um, I'm finna tell y'all soon. But yeah, I'm finna go down here. Now, I'm really finna go down here for business. I'm playing with y'all, but if my homeboy or homeboys, because I know a lot of people in Cali want to do a little something. I did pack a little, little, that same, no, not that same. I only wear it once. It's like a faux leather dress I got from Shein that like, it turns into a skater. And I packed it with this little Louis Vuitton tie-up tie. Shirt. Um, nothing major. Just in case somebody want to go out or some uh, go out to dinner yeah i'm not saying this true because you see i had to pack everything in here and i got my laptop in here my toiletries my whole purse in here and what i'm aware i think i did a very good job only problem is i should have wore some with some pockets because now i feel like i ain't got no work for my phone and y'all gonna fuss at me you know it's hard out here for pimp Let 
me just show y'all because I love this little suitcase. I can't wait to get my charger back so I can just charge my phone at the airport. Yeah, let me just show y'all. All right, y'all. I have to see a man about a motherfucking horse. A stallion horse, a, a goddamn.